वन वेलकम बैक टू द नेक्स्ट वीडियो इन दिस वीडियो आई विल शो यू हाउ टू इंटीग्रेट ओपन सी वी इन साइड अ नेटिव एंड्रॉयड एप्लीकेशन एंड देन विल कन्वर्ट अन इमेज टू अ ग्रे स्केल इमेज यूजिंग ओपन सी वी सो इन केस इफ यू डोंट नो ओपन सी वी इट इज़ लाइक कंप्यूटर विजन सो ऑल कंप्यूटर विजन टास्क कैन बी डन इजीली विद द हेल्प ऑफ ओपन सी वी सो फर्स्ट यू विल हैव टू गो टू दिस पर्टिकुलर यू आर एल ओपन सी वी डॉट ऑर्ग स्लैश रिलीजेस and you will have to click on android and it will download the android sdk for you once that is done just unzip it and you should see something like this uh, once you do that just create a native android application so i have created it you can use jetpack compose or xml layout whatever you prefer then you will have to go to file new import module then go back to the uh, uh, module where it is uh, downloaded so here you can see open cv android sdk you will have to select your sdk uh, don't select the entire uh, folder you will have to select sdk click open and i'll just name this as open cv okay you can name it whatever you feel like i'll just name it open cv click finish okay it is taking some time i think my android studio just hanged okay so just be uh, patient with this it might take take some time for you as well uh, let it finish uh, doing all the stuff like here you, as you can see it is importing it uh, once uh, that is done uh, you might face an issue so i'll tell you what issue issue is so here you can see i'm facing this issue like plugin id was not found in the following processes and the reason for that is if you go to my gradle here it has created two gradle files for me so it also created this gradle file for me uh, so this is not what i need i only need one gradle file so when i imported the open cv module it automatically created this gradle file so what i'll do i'll just copy this i'll go to my settings.gradle.kts and i'll just paste it at the very top and okay uh, because this is a gradle and not groovy you will have to use it in a certain way so uh, i have some sample project created for this so yeah you will have to import it something like this okay so i'll just copy this okay, again be careful with the name so here while naming it i have given it as capital c right so i'll just do this okay yeah why is it happening okay and i'll just do this I'll, i don't need this anymore so something like this and i'll click on try again oh okay sorry okay we have to delete this as well so not the, so this one the empty one so i'll just click on delete click okay do refactor okay so the, the it has deleted it but like android studio needs some time to reflect those changes just click on sync now and it should be able to do the required changes for you okay once that is done let's see what is the next step is uh, okay so the next step is update the min and max sdk of open cv gradle so what i'll do is well, you will have to go to build.gradle.kts uh, compile sdk is minus 34 so i'll go to build.gradle of open cv i'll update that as well this to 34 this to 34 and min sdk is 24 so i'll update that as well 24 okay uh, next we also need to update this uh, source compatibility version of java so here as you can see i am uh, there by default it is using uh, java sorry this one okay this is using a uh, version one underscore it let's see if we are facing this issue then only we will update it okay and if you see where did it go build load griddle okay it is i think it is using this version and here also it is using the same version okay there this seems fine to me in case if you are facing any java version issue maybe you can update the version uh, then inside you will have to go to file project structure dependency go to file uh, file where is project structure file new okay sorry file project structure 
you will have to click on dependency you will have to click on all modules select all modules click plus all modules click plus okay here we have to add add module dependency module de select app okay not open cv select your app click ok and here you will have to check this checkbox then click ok again click apply and then click ok so here it should be able to do all the dependency setup for us then uh, i'll show you what i'm doing uh, inside my code so i'll go to res layout activity underscore main let the gradle sync happen here i have one image view and i have one button and as so what happens is that once i click on the button it opens the image picker for us i will select one image i will convert it to grayscale using opencv and display it inside our image view so if you see my code over here so i'll just import this mat from opencv okay here i have taken our image view i have taken one variable for bitmap and this mat comes from opencv and i'll come back to this code so here if you see inside on create i have initialized our image view and here you first have to initialize opencv as well to initialize it you can use opencv loader dot init local and on button click all i am doing is that launch new photo picker so if you see over here we are just doing new photo picker dot launch pick visual media request and we are doing image only so it will only show images for us and uh, once uh, the user picks an image we get a uri over here and i'm just checking if it if that is not equal to null uh, then i'm converting it to a bitmap and once it is converted to a bitmap we just initialize our mat if it is equal to null and then we have to use this uh, utils dot bitmap to mat B pass your bitmap pass your mat and here we have to use something called img prog dot cvt color and here you can see i'm converting it from rgb to gray and then you just have to pass utils dot here then we have to use mat to bitmap previously we were using bitmap to mat here we have to use mat to bitmap pass our mat pass our bitmap and here we just have to use with context dispatchers dot main image view dot set image bitmap and pass our bitmap so let's try to run this let's see if this is working or not i am i, I think we might get, get an issue related to java version uh, let's see because i did get a issue on this i will remove all this thing from sidebar i don't really like it because i want to see this running devices option okay so we are getting one issue so, okay related to java 17 so what i can do is i'll just go to over here inside build.gradle of opencv i'll update this to java 17 and also i'll update this to java 17 i'll click on sync now and i'll try to run this again hopefully by this time uh, this time it should work are still running okay it has finished running so as you can see i have one select button if i click on it it opens the image picker for me and i'll just pick one image and as you can see that image was converted to grayscale with the help of opencv so yeah that's it thank you for watching bye